What is up everyone? It is I, the Apple Buyer, here today, and I am back with a brand new video. It's been quite a while, hasn't it? It's, it's, it's been some time, about, well, a week. It feels like it's been longer, though. A week. I want to start uploading more often, because I actually do like uploading kind of often, but whatever. Uh, let's get started with this video. So, today is October 20th. Most of you guys don't really know what today is, and honestly, I didn't know what, I didn't realize that today was, uh, the two-year anniversary of my, I don't know if you want to call it an anniversary, but two years I've been on, well, I've ha had this YouTube channel, so October 20th, 2014, says right there, October 20th, right there, so, two years. I've been on YouTube with this channel. I know my uh, first video that I have uploaded to this channel is a year old, but there were videos before that that weren't all all that good. So, like, I deleted them and, you know, I wish I kept them, but I didn't. But, yeah. So, yeah, my, my channel is two years old. Congrats to myself. Let's hope to more time on this channel. <laughs> and I hope that I grow over time. Moving on from that, so today we're going to be doing a video over whether or not the iPhone 3G, not the 3GS, the 3G is worth it in 2016. So, let's get right started with this now. This phone was made in 2008, I believe, because the 2G was released in 2007 so I'm assuming that this phone was in 2008 this is phone arena uh, oh my gosh you can just see the age in this phone just by I don't know why I'm using this phone to read the, the specs off of, for it but whatever ah yes I was right 2008 so this phone was released in 2008 and let me think okay yeah it's an eight-year phone a little over eight years old yeah a little over eight years old and it it shows its age really well it shows its age maybe not this specific model just because it's in really good condition but software wise and even especially hardware wise yeah it's old this phone uh, it's max OS is iOS 4.2.1 and right now iOS 10.0.3 3 is out and 10.1 will be released very soon um, this was the second iPhone to be released literally the second iPhone I know it's called the 3G but this was the phone right after the, the first generation iPhone and the iPhone 7 is out I know that's not the seventh iPhone but it doesn't matter because the iPhone 7 is crazy compared to this phone uh, we have a, let's see, let's see, stuff that matters, stuff that matters, a 320 by, 320 by 480 screen, uh, that's extremely low resolution by today's standards, considering that we have phones out there running 4K screens, cough, Sony, <laughs> and let's see, what else do we have here, 2 megapixel camera with uh, geotagging. Compare that to like an iPhone 7 now or even a 6S, and those phones can do 4K video, and I, they both have 12 megapixels, ton of different features in the camera other than just 4K video, but plenty of stuff compared to this phone. All you get is very similar to this camera. Uh, you just get point and shoot, so snap, but I guess you get geotagging, although I don't really know what that is. This is what I was really wanting to get into, though. Same CPU and same amount of RAM and same Mac storage. So we got 412 megahertz, whatever the CPU is called, doesn't really matter. Uh, single core only. Uh, Apple didn't start uh, doing dual core and well, they didn't start doing dual core CPUs until the four iPhone 4s, and they finally just started doing quad core CPUs. I wouldn't call the iPhone 7 CPU quad core because it's complicated. It's like a quad core hybrid type CPU. Um, we have 100.125 uh, megabytes. Let me think. 128 megabytes of RAM, which is 
basically nothing. Um, Built-in storage. This is a 16 gigabyte model. This is the max storage you can get on a 3G and a 2G. So most and 16 gigs is honestly enough for a phone that's old unless you're just going to use it for a ton of music. That's the only reason why I can't see 16 gigs not being enough. And that's basically it. Uh, review time. Do I think this phone is good? Ah, uh, that's a tough one. First off, Safari use is pretty much unusable. You're right off the bat able to see it right now. This is a fairly easy site on modern devices. And yeah, it's fairly easy and the phone just can I can barely swipe. It can barely load. I'm just going to close the tab anyway. And I mean, this phone is just slow. It's literally an iPhone 2G but with a little bit like one OS higher. Now, let me let me get into the price point of this phone because right now I'm just kind of knocking on it for it being old. I bought this phone, this phone here, for 20 bucks. Yeah, I know I get like all these iPhones for 20 bucks, but I, I got this on eBay for 20 bucks and it's in like ridiculously good condition. Very good. I was actually surprised by how good it was, especially for it being a 16 gigabyte. And 20 bucks gets you a really old iPhone, but you do get some of the, you do get older apps such as Facebook, Twitter. I know it can get Instagram, but Instagram doesn't work on the phone anymore. Um, you, YouTube video, YouTube runs on here, but you get the low res screen and the, the site just kind of runs a little bit slow, a tiny bit. It, it's not like you're... It's not like a new, newer iPhone you'd be running on, but it is manageable. Kick is possible on this phone. I've, I've used it before as a daily um, driver, I guess you can say. And kick is possible, but it's only for like basically texting. You don't really get any other features like kick has now. Um, Twitter and Facebook, I remember in 2014, they worked. But they were extremely slow. Twitter, I know, still works. But Facebook and Facebook Messenger, I'm not too sure about. Um, same goes for TuneIn Radio. But you can, unlike... Oops, I shook my camera prop. Unlike this phone, you can't download old versions of apps easily. I, I say easily. You can, but it's difficult. This phone, you can download older versions of apps directly from the App Store. So that makes it a lot easier. Well, it's still kind of difficult if you've never downloaded the app, but it's still it's still easier. So you can get old apps on this phone, but most apps won't be very well supported or they won't work or they just won't be supported at all because of how old this phone is. Do I think this phone is worth the 20 bucks? That is the question. The hardware is extremely ancient in it. It's literally... One thing I forgot to say is this phone uses uh, 2G networks while this phone uses 3G networks. Big difference, especially for 2007 and 8. That was a huge thing back then was 3G. I know 3G is old now in today's standards, but still 3G compared to 2G even by today's standards is a huge difference. Huge. That's like the main, that was like the reason why this phone is called the 3G is because has 3G networks. And that's why this one is called the 2G by m many people because 2G network. Other than that though, there's virtually no difference other than like the finish of the phone, or not the finish, but like the whole body of the phone. Other than that, these two are the same, just iOS 4, 3G, and different body. Do I think this phone is worth it? You'd be better off getting a 3GS in my opinion. I bought this phone for five bucks more and it can do about a billion, I, won't, I don't want to say a billion times, it can do a lot more than what this phone can. Is it worth, no, I think you should pay the 25 to 30-ish dollars and get a lot more use. You, apps are much more modern, you get, you just get a better experience of iOS. You don't get the best experience of iOS even on a phone this old and cheap, but you get a better experience. What do I think this phone is good for? If you... I think like if you don't want to have like an old cheap smartphone, 
like this because this is literally what it is just an old cheap smartphone and you just want something to hold around maybe with a, a touch screen and like a, like a camera that you don't really care about just to take quick pics with and all you're really gonna do is just make text messages make phone calls check your email maybe do very very light browsing on Safari and then listen to music I think this phone is good like I think this phone is perfect for that other than that though I don't think this phone is really worth trying to make like even a, a low-end cheap old smartphone this is more up that phone's alley the 3GS but for just music so light 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 Safari mail calling and texting without iMessage this phone does not use iMessage by the way you'll be good uh, other than that though I, I am doing uh, three videos over this entire weekend because I'm on fall break this is video one for the whole weekend so tomorrow I'm going to be doing a really fun video you'll see it tomorrow it's gonna be really cool other than that thanks for watching guys have a good day peace